Uh, hello guys, welcome to another Game Over podcast. Uh, I'm Dan. I'm Dylan. And I'm Aaron. Uh, today, because today is three days till the Switch's Switch. announcement. Mm-hmm. Jesus, what name already? It's okay. Three days till the Switch's announcement. Before we do our predictions really quick. Yep. So we're going to look at what we think the release date, the price, uh, some launch games, and just one feature that they... Because they've got to announce more features, because they've announced literally nothing. So they've got to announce more features for it and something we'd like to see it do. Yep. Or a game that has not been announced and we'd like to see announced for it. Because they've got to be surprises as well at this. Yep. So we'll start off with a release date. Uh, who's going first with that one? I'm going to say... The first week of April. I think it's going to miss March. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, the thing is, since it's missed Christmas, mm-hmm. there's no pressure. Like, literally. Like, that next is gen true. is well into its cycle. They could pick any day from now until June. Yeah, this is true. It'll, yeah, if they delay it for Zelda to come out. That's that's just a good move by them. Yeah, no, no, no I could see that. I don't know. No. I see the logic behind that. And you, Dan? Me. I actually think it's going to be out like middle of June. Uh, middle, middle of June? No. Ooh. Middle of March. I think it's going to be out maybe the 20th. Uh, I think the 20th is a weekend. So it's think, it's basically done and ready. I, th- I think, yeah, I think it's going to be. Yeah, I think it's all ready and sorted to go. I think it's going to be out in March. And I think that. I think the Wii U was also released in March, and maybe the 3DS. Is there an anniversary coming up that we just don't care about? Oh, I Probably. But no, I think it's going to be mid-March, just because... One, they say it's going to be close to March. Or they said it's either going to be March or... So I can't remember that it's going now. It's ready and done. I think you can get it out before Easter. Oh, yeah. Not as much as why this is relevant, it's just that's the only thing I know that's about that point in time. Yeah. No, I think it's going to be about mid-March. I think it's early than people. I think it's going to be early than people think of, I think people are going to expect it to be out like the 31st. But I, I reckon between like the 15th and 20th. Any advance on March? <clears throat> I kind of want to say in between you two. Um, <laughs> I just want to say like uh, sometime before April, sometime after the middle of March. But I think it probably will be about halfway through March when it's actually released. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I think all the information will come out in three days and. We'll soon find out. Is the rush like shopping holiday in March we don't care about? Not in England anyway. No. I don't know. I don't think the States have one either, actually. What about in Japan? Anything there? Every other weekend, I assume. Hey, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, but yeah, mm-hmm. they'll, they'll have it, some. Do we know if it's releasing exactly at the same time for the West and the East? Or it, we don't know. have the release date, so we don't <laughs> no, <know. I> mean, <laughs> Do uh, it would make sense to just release it. Is it just going to boosh? Yeah. Did the Wii U come out everywhere together? No. I don't think it did, right? Didn't like Australia get it extremely late or something like that, or early? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, um, it's usually like a week or two weeks, right? It's something like that. It's not yeah. just a couple of days like games, yeah, so it's consoles have stuff. Consoles have a week. That is true. That's you true. need to have a backlog. That's true. Yeah. You can't just end up like the Wii and, oh, sorry, we're sold out. Yeah, yeah, that's no, true. That's yeah. true. But um, no, nah, in three days, we shall have an update. Yeah. Right, next one's a biggie. Price. Price. You start off because you start the last one. I am thinking about £250. Great British gold coins of goodiness. Um, Partially because it is... um, If memory serves correct, the Wii when it came out was like 200 220 I think so. Like it, it wasn't it wasn't the PS3 stupid original price which was laughable. Like, Jeez, that was, new that was the highlight of the three. Seventy quid something like that. So that like, was a lot of money. Stupid. Six hundred dollars um, nearly. They yeah. did have a Blu-ray player in it, so it did. <sighs> and they did make up yeah. the price. Yeah, should have went with HD DVDs. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's more than just a handheld. It's more than just like a docking pod. Mm-hmm. It, it, it if everything goes correctly, it is a possible console. Yeah. Um, and. That's, that's more than 200 quid. As much as I would love to be like, everybody's going, it's 200 pound. If, if that's 200 quid, they need to ship like one and a half times what their predicted like ship is to yeah. make mad, mad money. I and see you again. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, Nintendo yeah. is worth mad, mad money. And yes, when Pokemon Go came out, they went up like seven points Jeez, in the market. Yeah, did, yeah. That's stupid because they're not even part of Niantic. But that's good marketing. Um, yeah, I think 250 is... Maybe like 250 in a bundle with like one game. Um, but yeah. I, I'd personally be happy to just chuck a 250 with 
I don't know, I really want a Metroid plan, like day one, Metroid game comes out. Even if it's like a remaster or a re-res or just play all the Metroids in a giant collection. It would be quite cool if they did that actually. But they won't. Sh no, no, no. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with 250. Mm. I think, because it's, like you said before, because it's not really a home console, it's not really a portable, it's kind of halfway between the two. Dan, we're about this on the way here to record this, we're, it's got to compete with whatever the price of uh, PlayStation and Xbox are now, which yep. is probably 250 quid I guess, yep. with the game. And so they I've, have gone cheap over time. Oh, um, January sales. Like, my yeah. personal guess is 199.99. Oh, That's a really specific damn. number, so I'm going to do that, <coughs> that, I reckon it's going to be that, simply because uh, power shouldn't come into it, but it was like a... Because I saw some arguments on other people, yeah, but it's not as powerful as the other machines. Like, this is a Nintendo console. This be. is for the family, this like, is for platforming, this is for yeah. like front room couch core. I, I think they're taking it more seriously than before. If you look at like, the list of like developers that are excited about it, which is cool, because the Wii U didn't have that when oh, it launched. Third party looks lovely, man. Yeah, which is something the Wii U just doesn't have at all. Um, so I think, yeah, I reckon 199.99, I reckon. But I reckon there'll be two versions. I reckon there'll be a base version and, and something like, else with like a yeah. bigger memory card in it or like a bigger internal memory, because it's... I don't think they've even said whether or not it's Maybe, internal memory, right? Can we go off on a mad tangent? Mm -hmm. you remember the GameCube? You remember you had like a dock that slotted into the bottom of the GameCube and you could put uh, Game Boy cartridges in? Yeah, yeah, I remember like, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe they like, they've legalised an emulator for all their back, all their old consoles. And you just put your, con you put your th wouldn't that be cool? You don't need that to would be the, awesome, yeah. You don't need to do it with the digital store, you just download it. I had I had digital copies it's of games. It's going to have a virtual what, See the shelf. Yeah. I own 10,000 games. It's oh, on a 64 no. terabyte hard drive. See the shelf, it's got fuck all on it. Oh no. Plus we don't know whether the screen is touchscreen, do we? No, we, like... Oh, didn't they confirm that? I don't know, I, I, I might have made that up. If it is, then we that? 3DS emulation would be awesome because you could have like the touch screen and the pads cool. on your TV is the other screen. That yeah. won't work. It doesn't work on your TV if it's not in the dock. Oh yeah, that's As true. That. Yeah, it's only green hand. But, but then mean, that does mean that I, so I reckon, I don't get this later when we say the unannounced stuff, but I, because it's a console that's kind of half and half and it is less powerful than the other machines and they've got to come out and they're coming out three, nearly four years into the lifespan of the others, it's got to compete with them. Yes, I'm by, my guess is about 200 quid. I think I'm going to say, I'll, I'm probably going to say 250 with a game and maybe like 225 on its own. Yeah. Um, so it's based on the Nvidia Shield technology, mm -hmm. what I've said, uh, what I've seen. Um, yeah. They, well, I just had a quick Google. It's like 180 pound, 190, 200. So if you okay. include like, I don't know, the yeah. skin that Nintendo puts on top, it's going to yeah. be a bit more. And oh, then, oh, so the tech on its own is... And then, I don't know, you might get a good deal yeah, with a game, it's going to be... But Nintendo games are pretty expensive on their own, aren't they, usually? Hey, yeah, you pay for yeah. them, um, Actually, yeah, how much do you reckon games are going to cost? We won't go to talk about this, so just feel like... What, what's the average game cost now for a, for a console? Like, like 40, 50 quid? Yeah. What's an average game cost for... Maybe not a Wii U game, because no one buys fucking things on uh, 3DS like, games are still gone for like 30 quid, man. Okay. Like, if you're so getting your Zelda's and you're... Oh, that's uh, true. So we're about yeah, that's true. Oh, no, nah, I guess that's true. So we're about the same sort of price of games, I guess. I'll be happy to pay forty quid. quid. Mm. Um, yeah, pricing games is a totally different beast. Like, that's true. It's yeah. I also want to know, like, this is something we can't do as a podcast because we don't know the facts. But like, well, how much the cartridges store? Because it is back to cartridges again. It's not on discs, none of that. Um, but the cartridges hold more than the disc does. Do they hold it enough? It's clearly enough to run something like Breath of the Wild, and that looks amazing. Personally, cartridges can fit more than disc, right? Yeah, so um, yes, it's it's the, um, yeah, so we get right. USB sticks that can hold like a terabyte uh, of data yeah, now. Technology is so yes, far ahead. Really yeah. static. Yeah. Whether or not Memory. they're going to go that far, because a terabyte USB, it costs fuck loads. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, that's overkill for a game. But a 60 gig one to hold a game, that's not... Mm. Like a a, a Blu-ray disc is 60 gig. But the thing is, like, uh, retail price and... Man uh, companies buying them from manufacturers, the prices are massively different. Oh, really? Like, especially when they're doing them in bulk for games and yeah, they, so you know, you run if off. they can still make them money, they will use 60 gig cartridges, but I can't see them. It's I can't see like a game requiring 60 gig. I can't see that. If, Witcher? If we look at like. The Witcher you seen from you're not going to get a game like The Witcher on this. So. I mean, well, you there might, might be big games for it, but, yeah, like, but like. Monster Hunter or Xenoblade. Or is they're they're massive yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. That's true. If you look at how the games look compared to current gen, it's what, what would you say, like 
pier three or above quality. Oh, it'll be pi- the thing yeah. is, like I was going to bring this up. <clears throat> yeah, Last of Us was on PS3. Yep, that is true. That is a That's lovely true. looking game. And that game has scaled pretty well. As you're yeah. speaking of old machines and games, okay, one of my best jobs to the Vita has um, memory chips for games. Yep. Um, Ridiculous. Like, how good did um, Uncharted look like? Oh, golden arm. Golden. Like, golden abyss. Golden abyss. Yeah, that, excellent. I, so I think it's really something similar to that. I reckon. People were sort of saying that was not really powerful the machines. Like, yeah, but. I, mean, I think it's going to well. look yeah. like the top end Vita games look. That's my opinion of it. Oh, yeah. That and I don't care what they look like. Like, I'm really not fussed about all the games. This is how they play and how fun they are. Yeah. It's all about the experience, really. Yeah. Plus, I think that's what they're aiming for. Nintendo, the they, they put the games first. I still want to believe that. Yeah. Even though they do have flagship games. They do. Just um, make money. But then it was the flagship games that I guess were the downfall of the Wii U simply because that's all they had. Like if you look at the Wii U's backlog, it's Mario and Zelda. Yeah, and uh, weird Mario. JRPGs. Yeah. I love my weird JRPGs but you can't keep a console afloat. No, they didn't have enough third-party support but this one does at the minute which is cool. Which is a good segue onto games. So, I don't, they have not really announced any games for it. But uh, okay, yeah. so I can tell you what games we kind of know yeah, about. Yeah, I'm going to up quick. So, obviously we've got the so Legend of Zelda... Breath of the Wild? Breath looks, of the Wild. Yeah. Actually, it looks really cool. It really looks really cool. Um, I was hearing some bad stuff about it the other day, but it is literally just going to be hands-on try. Like, yeah. I, they were kind of saying the same stuff that I was kind of iffy about. I think the world's going to be, like, sp- spattered. Spattered? That sounds weird. And like little just, areas or yeah, yeah, like oh, lots yeah. of nothingness. Good looking nothing. But so was like uh, Maybe. so was Wind Waker. So I that thought that cool. about the E three demo for um Breath of the Wild is that when he's running around the fields, yep. there's sort of like camps of like goblins everywhere. But they're not everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. But they did then say that this first area is quite small. It's it's, it's, field, training, it's yeah. the Hyrule Fields area. Yeah. It's, it's an open field thing. There's not really any villages around, yeah. but there are villages. We have got the dark quests. castle in the room. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and there, there will be villages and side quests and all that sort of stuff. We still need dungeon gameplay. We do, uh, which I presume is what we're going to get. Yeah, Zelda's all about the dungeons, man. Let's yeah. face it. In terms of exclusives, yep. we have Seasons of Heaven, which looks like um, one of those walking simulator type games, which have a story. Oh, all right, with it. that's cool. And Sacred Hero RPG. Anyone heard of that? Sacred Hero, not off the top of my head. No. no. Um, there's one called Tank It, but it's like a vehicle simulator. All right, so <coughs> Rocket League-ish. Maybe yeah. Um, so we got like uh, Dragon Quest 10 and 11. Is that right? Yep, that's cool. That is really cool. Um, Ooh, what do you want to get in Dragon Quest? That is cool. The West love their Dragon Quest. Yeah. Untitled Pokemon game. Some it's bound to happen, really. Isn't it? There'll be several. Bring me back there'll, be, there'll be something like that. I reckon there'll be a Pokemon, maybe a Pokemon Snap game. Pokemon Online. See, one thing I had heard is that Pokemon, what was it, Sun and Moon? Yep. Oh, because Pokemon Stars on. was going to turn up, but it's going to be a game for the Switch. Switch. Yeah. Which that'd be cool, and that could totally work because you yep. load your cartridges, and you make a slightly better looking game. Yeah. Like cross game player. And yeah. And uh, using the so, so this can like I presume storage. Yeah, that and obviously it's got. Wi-Fi and shit now, you yeah. don't have cables to trade stuff over and oh, you pick up your switch and you trade cables. it away. That's cool. So that'd be cool and then to throw a Pokemon game up on the big screen and have it look, because I presume it operates it properly and like, doesn't just stretch it to fit your screen, it will, uh, yeah, it'll up res. It'll go from be. having your 720p on your screen to I think up res to 1080, I think. It'll be by an up- uh, download update and it'll just, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it's cool. But games that are coming up with it, uh, obviously we don't know any as of right now. But we will have a with uh, the I the think there'll game. be a Mario game because there was just that foot because on the footage of that Susan real thing they had. Are we getting a Galaxy? Because I wouldn't See, mind. Right. I wouldn't mind a Sunshine. I've oh, written wow. this down. I want a, a sequel to like Galaxy Sunshine and 64. It doesn't have to be Galaxy, but like, I just want one of the star collecting like world hopping Mario games because it's been a long time since they've done one. They skipped an entire console for that sort of game. That that's kind of scary. I um, want one of those games. No, that that'd be a that'd be a good addition because. Those games were good. Mario that big time from say something. Yeah, we've they, got a big Mario game. Yeah, and it's available the second you buy it. Like, yeah, like as good as, as Luigi's, good as Luigi's Mansion was, it was kind of just. It wasn't filler. It was really good filler. Um, yeah, but it wasn't like one of the big entries. Not at all, no. So I think I think it also sort of needs something like that. To, 
if it comes out and it's just a new Super Mario Bros. game, like, I didn't like them all that much. I don't like the countdown time on Mario, which yeah. I always like heresy to say. <laughs> I don't like the short levels and countdown. I like exploring yeah. the 3D stuff and finding all the secret you, coins and this stuff. You're not there for the speedrun platform. Oh, yeah, I'm it's, really not. Yeah, this I isn't quite like Sonic. Like, yeah. The levels are that. So I think if Zelda has been delayed, it, it needs something big. As if Zelda was, I personally think Zelda might be a surprise at the end and say, oh, by the way, it's not out later now, it's out on the launch day. So, the platform itself, we saw in the intro video, it was like, you can pass the controller to your friend and play like this. Uh, yeah. so that's really cool. Like, I'm pretty you know, sure we saw Play Mario Kart, your friends. Or exactly. Yeah, I was going to mention Mario really Kart. Cool. Mario Kart. Do you reckon that's going to be one of the release titles, or? Yes. I don't oh, that's my think guess. It's that's going to be a release. That will be so a Mario. It'll for eventually like, come. I, yeah, yeah. Maybe not release. Yeah. Uh, see, I think it's going to be a port of the Wii U's Mario Kart. So the game's already there. Okay, we can't release Mario Galaxy and Mario Kart on oh, a release can. day, can we? Well, <sighs> you need to kind of spread it out, I guess. Yeah. That's true. I go with you saying. You don't just release all your flagships. See, more than that, it's the games that aren't Nintendo stuff I'm excited about. Considering like, that nothing has been announced. Yeah. Like third and party. I, you know, I don't know if Skyrim's going to be on it, but I, they had Skyrim shown on it. and I would like a game money. from. Uh, it is Devolver Digital, who did Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami, yep. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they were the publisher or the developer, but they're sort of games. You, uh, know, yeah. you, get, you get the flavour of that. I think the publisher, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd welcome that. Like. Yeah. Just. Even though like we had stuff like Mad World and oh, yeah. I think Wet was an 18. Oh, yep. Uh, Not My Heroes. Um, Not My Heroes was 16. And don't and forget, um, with the Wii U, there was Zomb Zombie, Zombie U. Yeah. yeah. One of those games. Like, even though like uh, the Nint Nintendo is the home for like the family and whatever, they've had... It is. I think they need to... Mad World was just excellent. Now. Like, even though it was yeah. black and white, it was Sin City. They looked really nice. Gory yeah. as hell. It controlled like trash. Well, I do, I, that's what I hope about the Switch set up. That Yes, keep the kid-friendly games in there, because I, I like playing my Mario games, I like oh, yeah. playing my Mario Kart, so I will get oh, them. Like, but, fantasy stories are excellent. Um, exactly, yeah. The problem, the reason the Wii U sits on my shelf not really getting touched anymore is because... What? Well, <laughs> the reason the Wii U sits on my shelf and doesn't get touched is because I've got... Literally, the only two games I've got on my Wii are Zelda, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. That uh, is it. I sold all my others. We're, we're not going to get into the... The Wii has an excellent catalogue. Yeah. Like it literally does. Uh, like, it does. The Wii does. Yes. You have to dig. Doesn't. Oh no, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I would either like something from Devolver Digital mm -hmm. or a Metroid Prime game. And I don't mean yeah. other M. I don't mean Zero. Or what about? I know it's not Harris. Is it? What about games that it can handle that it couldn't? That the Wii you couldn't? Like, could they say, "Oh, by the way, you've also got the Arkham Enhanced Edition"? Ooh. Are you telling me could they can run them properly or? It can handle the first two Arkham games, yeah. yeah. Like they're like Xbox 360 games. Like this ah, more, okay. So this I is see the, this saying. is sort of the level that I think it's a similar level to where the 360 are. I don't think they should. But they shouldn't focus on them. Th no, they but should not focus on like what other consoles did. I would be very surprised they if, they, if there wasn't some sort of collection to come out. Um, like, yeah, I, I, but you bring out a Nintendo collection. You bring out Castlevania games. No, I don't out. want to do that because that's the problem. That's what the Wii U did wrong. Yeah, but you're the Wii U did was like sell its own stuff over everyone else, so everyone else tuned out. Like this one needs to come in and say we've got our stuff, and then there's also they need. I they am, need to have I'm their confident stuff. in saying that Nintendo will never stop trying to sell their own shit. No, but okay, not not in that way. But like they need to come out and they need to showcase games that aren't a Nintendo game. Like third party games need to be no, the focus of this thing. And uh, they'll probably because introduce new IPs. Yeah, that would introduce cool. their own. Yeah, yeah and I think Capcom have said they've got something in the works, and in fact, loads of companies have got something yeah, in the like, works. Uh, we've always dreamed of them like teaming up with like Sega or oh, man, like, Atlas. Cool. Yeah, that would be insane. No, like th there's mm. just a the war I of the three kingdoms know, that just doesn't need to happen. I do know that the machine itself can handle Unreal Engine four because I would have said that they can develop for it. Which is cool. I don't know what that means for games that I would, come I would out. Probably take that with a grain of salt because there aren't many pieces like, of hardware like, that can't handle engines. Yeah, I know. It's that. Just how well you can use it. But yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. On the Uni but the idea that they're excited like to like let people develop with it and stuff. Oh yeah, it is cool. But it's just I want to know more. Would you buy a Switch if you knew it had good indie game support? <sighs> yes. Um. Yes, or I want to It depends if it had like exclusive indie games, because mm. everything 
has good indie games to play. If exactly, you know what I mean? yeah, that's. I, you can't sell a console on that anymore. No. Like, so I think, yeah, I was saying, my Vita can play those indie games. Yeah. This is not nothing against indie games, but this one has to come out it, swinging and say, look, we've yeah. got this, 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 and this. It's like trying to, it's like for a, a streaming site to try and keep up with Crunchyroll. Mm -hmm. y you don't. That, that, they are the king of streaming uh, legal anime, and Netflix can have like 15 things, and that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you try and grab a new market. You have your market, yeah, so Netflix yeah. has the market for films, whereas uh, Crunchy has the market for the decent anime. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, they don't cross over, they just yeah. complement. So this needs to come out, like, there will be indie game stuff for it, but this needs to come out and say, yeah. yeah. I, it needs to basically apologise for the Wii U, in no zone, like, it has to. Like, I think one thing that like, you sent this morning, you sent that picture. Oh yeah. They had, they had the, the, the snares, or the snares, was it the snares or the snares? It was uh, Nintendo the snares, was uh, the, snares the, Wii the Wii U, and then this thing. Like, they ignored the GameCube, they ignored the Wii U. They had loads, the snares, the Wii, and this. Okay, like, yeah. Covered, like, yeah, like, yeah. They're, they're, like the, the Wii and the snares are their best snare consoles. Quite happily like, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, 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 come the out and they, they cut the GameCube out, they cut the Wii U out completely of this advertising campaign. Like, well, I think, to be fair to them, they've at least had a hand said, yeah, well, you didn't last very long. <laughs> they have apologised and sort of went, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, like... It kind of sucks for people that own a Wii U that are now getting stiffed, but uh, at least they can come out and say, yeah, uh, yeah. we're just going to burn up bridges with that one and start again. Uh, uh, yeah, try and build like, that chain the relationship iToy. properly. Like, oh, that iToy thing. Yes, yeah. yeah. Like, similar to that. So, everybody yeah. mixed it. Microsoft also with the connect. must have... Yeah. Well, there is a one. Ooh, shit. Yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, stop focusing on that so much. Like, yeah. Everybody does it. They just did yeah. it with an actual console as opposed to an accessory. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So well, I could give you. <laughs> our last prediction then. Something that's been unannounced that we want to see announced. Whether that be a game that's been unannounced or some sort of feature that the Wii U might have, that the Wii U, if I may, that the Switch might have. I shall go first. Yep. Uh, I believe Nintendo will implement something akin to. Uh, PlayStation Plus or Games oh, for Gold. Oh yeah, you were saying this earlier. So bringing back classic games onto your Nintendo yep. Switch. Um, basically what they'll, this will let them do is they can like drip out the back catalogue. So hey, you got Castlevania 1 free. That's cool, man. Like a physical copy of Castlevania 1 is so 90 mean, quid. That's stupid. Wow. <laughs> So this mean you think that this is going to have like day. a paid for subscription thing for their um, online? Yeah. They're going to jump to that model here? Yeah. It, it makes sense because as a console comes out, if it doesn't like explode, mm -hmm. people will sign up for PlayStation Plus, whatever. And that's an extra 20 quid. Yep. Um, a month. No. No. It'll be like 60 quid a year. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I pay six ninety nine a month for PS Plus, five ninety nine a month. Yeah. How much do you pay now? Same with Xbox. It's a subscription. Yeah. Um, free games, discount, mm -hmm. and maybe early access to stuff, because they're probably going to use, like, maybe alpha and beta stuff more, because you never really get, like, early access. You got early access to Splatoon? Are you saying it's announced for the Switch, or are you saying it's... Um, when the, the Switch gets going. So as <coughs> the announcement will have the subscription with it. Yeah, uh, that's probably a good prediction, actually. That seems like the safest thing to go for. Yeah. That's... Like if what I yeah, want. Yeah, that's the norm. That's all that everyone else, yeah. every other console does that now. Like yeah, so what I want is the jack that goes in the bottom of them, like the GameCube, like just to play everything. Because mm -hmm. we've seen them. Emulators exist. There's consoles yeah. that play every single thing ever. Yeah. But they're they're not legal, so you can't use them. Yeah. Because patent and shit. Um, but yeah, subscribe seems like a good shout. It seems safe. Seems like a good marketing move. Yeah, Especially it also makes it seem more serious as well if you suddenly go, right, we haven't paid for online now. Yeah, like they'll so have it. So it means they can support yeah. their online more. They'll have a knack, won't they? They'll just yeah. have a game that is literally a giant tech demo yeah. of falling molecules. Yeah, like look all this thing can do. Those yeah. falling molecules, man. Yeah. No, I like that. Fuck you, knack. Um, but yeah, what is your prediction? Uh, my prediction, actually my prediction originally was it's going to be better online support. That kind of falls under yours. So my new prediction now is virtual console wise. I think out the gate it's going to like say, okay, we've got loads of GameCube games. And I think it's going to give you everything you can possibly... It won't have Wii games stuff on it. I think they'll say out the gate, right, you've got all of this to go for. Eternal Darkness. Resis. That one, right, Eternal Darkness. Got re... Um, the, the trademark for that. Oh, got yeah. re oh, yeah, the other day. they did. <laughs> I think there might be a new Eternal Darkness game maybe announced at this. No, it won't be out. 
But I think on that silver order, that stuff that's in the future, that yeah. will be on there. And I would like to. But saying that, it wasn't, wasn't long after Fallout 4, like, patented, like, they patented, like, Boston or something, daft like that, like, in their games, that we, they put up the fake website, and, like, Four months later, we had follow for that was yeah. weird. That, oh, yeah, that's that yeah. all happened. Like, it happened. Yeah, that's how it happened. So yeah. I think there could be an eternal darkness three, four, maybe third one, two, or two. There was yeah, only one, one eternal darkness game. Is it? Yeah, Dan, that was a fucking good trivia game. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Welcome to the well, dark after that. Machine. I think they just got picked off by big studios. Yeah. Uh, okay. um, so I think that could be on the list. Oh, so right, this is a shot in the dark now. Right, this is never going to happen. I think the surprise is going to be announced. Right. I said this in our E3 thing about like whatever the fuck it was I said about it's not gonna be that game. You were totally wrong. Don't it's not gonna be that game. It's not gonna be that game because obviously, right? I think Ubisoft are gonna come out and say Beyond Good and Evil Two is gonna be a Switch oh, exclusive. I thought you were gonna say New Rabbits game. No, I thought it was gonna go back to Time Splitters. No, I want oh, Time Splitters. It's not gonna I happen. really want a Time Splitters game. No, no. <laughs> not because Crytek now and Time Splitters and Crytek are in massive trouble. Yeah, They've got like what two studios left or something like that. Oh, no, they're not paying the employees that they fucking have. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Anyway, no, it's a different thing. Anyway, no, I think I think Beyond Good and Evil Two we know is in development. Yeah, we do. And Ubisoft and Did Nintendo well. are sort of buddy buddy at times. Oh yeah, they... I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it's not exclusive. Maybe if they come out and say. This is in development. The first thing you're going to get yeah. to see of it is on the Switch. Yeah, like that would Switch be a really like cool thing if they get like an extra like feature or something. Brother. Do it like a year on the Switch. That'd be really cool to do because I'm sure yeah. it will come to other consoles. But for the debut to be on the Switch, that'd be cool. That will be cool. I'd love to. I want to see more of Beyond Good and Evil Two anyway. Oh yeah, so I think that it probably won't. That happen, but that's my shot in the dark prediction. That's like fucking Castlevania ending. Those. Yeah. What's your bet on Dylan? Oh. I was going to say I want to see more games that are in every console on this console because when you look at the Wii U, they weren't really sharing multi-packs with other consoles. No, we had Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah. We had Mass Effect, we had... Um, Batman? Yeah, exactly. Batman. Yeah, the yeah. Ba I don't think the Batman port worked. Or the Batman for the Wii U worked very well. It was well. better than PC though. Not yeah. Oh true. yeah, that is true. But uh, apparently the Mass Effect one was fine. Um, I know the Black Ops was awful, supposedly, yeah. but that's because it was a different game. Yeah, it was. I would like to see these games that are coming out, like Resident Evil 7 Tell on this Tales. console. Uh, yeah, uh, is, do you know if that's announced or not? Or? No. Do you know if they're They could totally work on it, though. They could totally work on it. They could totally work on it, uh, yeah. If we could see like stuff like Dark Souls 3 and come to... Like we were saying, we want a good like adventure game, which we can spend a lot of time in. Ooh, Dragon's Dogma. Get me a Dragon's Dogma yeah. 2. So do you think this Capcom. is... I'd play that. Just do it. Like, you know the original Switch for this had the, the footage of Elder Scrolls running on it? Yeah, and, like, and everyone said it's not going to work. Like, well, it's not, but there must be something there for them to put it on there. They're going to. Like, it doesn't mean that going it's going to have. Redo Daggerfall. Doesn't mean that it's going to have the HD version of it. What that 2D game? Pretty much. So I, 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 this, um, could, this could feasibly run the non HD version, though. Put Undertale so on it. Everyone assumed it was. Ooh. Do you reckon it could run it, though? That's don't think I can. Yeah. It's the same reason I, it's never going to come to my PS4 and I kind of cry. Because mm. um, I'd have to buy like a plug-in like, keyboard. Because like, half of it's just text and like, random keys, isn't it? That raises the question, if it does have a touchscreen, it would be excellent. Yeah. Um, mm. well, I was going to say. See, has it been confirmed that it's got a touchscreen on top? There was something where people were talking about that it had a pattern for one or something like that. My thing with that is, then every game has to then incorporate Touchscreen and non-touchscreen, but it because doesn't. The Vita take the thing out, chucked it away. It's got exactly the same controls as when it's plugged uh, in. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because those controls in your hand don't ever change. So it's always those buttons. Now that you yeah. say that, makes sense for it not to have a touchscreen. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like those buttons there don't change. You just take them off your controller. Clunk, clunk, clunk. That was the sound effects for the, the copyright official yeah. sound effects. That is it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like um, steel? Well, it doesn't mean it won't have touchscreen if you've got like indie games for it. But that doesn't mean every certain games you have to play handheld. There's going to be like a five minute section where it's just like accessories. Like, this, you're going to get it in there. See, that's another thing we'll talk about actually. It wasn't on the run list, but you just reminded me. Because you can change all the controllers and stuff, are we going to get GameCube. updated stuff for it? Like, because <laughs> the ones you've got in a minute are fine. They've got, you know, two analog sticks, two triggers. Your face buttons and you start and go and this and the other. But that goes on to like the text and the like, specs. I, I, I don't think you can like just. Yeah, I don't think you can mix and match like that. It, I don't think shit like works like that. 
you can't just get a downloadable update that like makes the tech talk to each other. Yeah. Like. Oh no, I mean like, will they make custom ones? Oh yeah. Like, so we'll you've have got brand new like things plates. to plug on with different buttons on. There'll them. be a fucking Pikachu version, just like the Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, there will. There'll be a Zelda one. Like it's just fit for it's an aesthetic. One thing I want to know, right? How do the controllers talk to the machine? Like, is it all? Like, I presume, like, right? when you plug on the thing, is wireless. Uh, yeah. Like, do when you plug them into the size, it's only go from wireless to being wired. Because what's the point in talking wirelessly to a thing that? Like, and yeah, no, it'll be like if my wireless is literally touching the screen. It'll just be like wireless and Ethernet cable, right? <clears throat> like, I reckon it might be some sort of like you slide it in and there's like magnets connecting there. So or like, oh, it's only switches like, to like contact or something. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope so because what's the point in having? But then the um, thing with the controllers are literally attached to the screen that's talking to it wireless, if it's not talking to it that way. Yeah. Do you reckon the Joy Joy-Con is um I reckon it will be wireless, but do you reckon it's like a rechargeable that can be charged? Uh, yeah, it'll charge from the dock, right? Yeah, mate. It, it well, so you have to dock it with, well. with, the, so the, with the controls on it. Yeah. Um, Possibly, yeah. And then probably you can like dock them in their own thing if you don't want it to store it on there or because they've then got a contributor of people that like maybe put it somewhere. We might actually get be able to play some of these at EGX. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, no, that's that's irrelevant. It's out before then. <laughs> it's out. We can actually. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, Eurogame oh. is the end of like the end of March, April time. Well, actually, we don't know if it is coming out when we say it's it. definitely uh, coming it's out. The end of April. It's definitely coming out. <laughs> yeah. in the middle of March. I've, I've stayed oh. it now. You might get delayed. <laughs> Miyamoto's going to come on with a sword and a shield and look like an idiot again. <laughs> um, no, that see. American dude is going to like Already use the me. word revolutionary. He's going to tell us how much his body is ready as well. <laughs> like like ready. I love that guy. He's, yeah. Oh, they need to come out and they need to show... The first thing they need to do on it personally is to show Zelda working on it. Whether it's coming out or not, regardless. It needs to come out, show, me show it on the screen. Show me Someone God. then has to pick it up and play it on their hands and they have to see it going from screen to hand, back to screen again. Just to show that, that how quick that... Because I don't know how quick the, the switch is. Well, responsiveness. Okay. As in, as in, yeah. How, like, how quick? Not that sort of speed, but how quick does it go from me going uh, and okay. picking it up? Does yeah. it go from my TV to my hand? So it say, should do it at the uh, speed it should do it of like, GTA Five. You reckon it GTA Five was slow as shit, right? It was. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you're switching characters, it was literally. <laughs> that, yeah, when you're oh, oh, oh. ten seconds, like. Oh god, I can't take ten seconds to do it. Like, it's got to be quicker than that. I, I hope I, that, I'd imagine the same sort of speed. I hope if you get a phone call, you could just pick it up and walk away, and it would be. I think how it, it Yeah. yeah. Which, I, which is feasible to do because it does it with. I know it works different technology, but like, I mean, going from your PS4 to your Vita screen, like remote play. Oh, there's going to be a cooking mama, isn't there? Right, now it's cooking mama. I don't know, cooking mama wasn't that motion take, control based. Take the controller to the kitchen, and now we're going to make some curry. I think this is going to have some sort of motion controls. I Please don't. don't. I've looked at, like a nerd, I've looked at like pictures of all the controller things. One of the controllers seems to have like an RFI, uh, oh, fuck, what's the word? An infrared, infrared yeah. thing at the top of right. it. Right. Whether that, that could just simply just be so you can turn it off and on again, like that. Yeah. Could simply be for that. But it could also be that you can maybe plug your Wii sensor into it and mm. maybe they because they've got the same buttons on as Wii. Uh, no, yeah, start, I hope it's just like gyros to like, you know, like if you want to fly a plane, you can tilt it yeah. a bit. I hope it's just that. But I don't want to be playing, does anybody remember, was it Leia? Where you're flying the dragon? Oh, and PlayStation. Yeah. The six seconds. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think that'll happen. I think motion controls will happen. Like, I think. Because the Wii U's got motion controls, but never use the bloody things. Good. Like, I think. I'd like to think they don't have it. But it's just that I, I don't even like using them on my Vita, man. No, I never do. Oh, yeah. I think I used them for Uncharted. Yeah. And there were a couple of times in trouble. Oh, that's cool. You shine your thing up to the light and you look through yeah. the paper. That's cool. Charcoal then, rubbings and shit. It's cool. Yeah. But they used it a little bit too much. Yeah. But then no games use it now. I sort of hope that if it does have it, it's used to a minimum. Or they use it specifically so that maybe certain indie games can use it or something like that. Yeah. I don't want to be forced to use motion controls. Fuck motion controls, burn them, nuke them. Um, I mean, we are, yeah, I think the Wii U sort of said, yeah, we're going to change the Wii Play games that one, like maybe shake shit. Yeah. The Wii, sorry. The Wii's and then everything else, yeah. you can't yeah, that controls. The w- I just, I think the I'll Wii give the Wii the fact that it's like the PlayStation 2, it will never die. People the Wii's good still, one. The Wii's still yeah. fun, yeah. 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 Um, but uh, yeah, and I think when they came out and said, yeah, this is the, the way you play games is different now. We're going to have you moving around the room and shaking your hands like you've got Parkinson's and like... Yeah. I think All when people rock The that. Wii U came out and said, yeah, we're going to do that, but a bit more. Like, you can wobble your thing and you can draw on it. And then see That's too much, man. Nobody played after that. Oh, no, yeah. stop. That's too much. Fuck, no. So I think this is them sort of going, yeah, okay, controllers again. Sweet. So, in conclusion, 
Nintendo has got this down like a boss. I hope there is. I've never been. There this is no way they're going to fuck this up, right? It's been a long time since I've been excited for a Nintendo console. Put it that way. Like the Wii U didn't interest um, me at all. I'm going to personally say they will say something out of place, and people on the internet will go crazy. But that's life. That is life. Like, like literally. <laughs> and out of place mean they're going to brag about something they shouldn't do. No. Or like, it, it's going to be like high rule <clears throat> archery. Oh, no, oh my god, just, I remember that. <laughs> it didn't work. I never played it. He but. came on trying to play and it couldn't yeah. shit. Crossbow training or Yeah, oh, god. yeah. Oh, god. That was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe not that bad. I hope they don't do stuff like that on this. I hope, like we said before, like games, 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 games. It it's has be to. Better than a Ubisoft conference. I, I just hope the online store is up to par with whatever yeah. everyone else has got. So that's the, yeah, so that's one way they could do it. They could come out and say, right, these are the games, these are the online games. Or the on-store games, and they've got the virtual console, and then they suddenly go. But also, as well as Nintendo products, we've also got boing, and show a back catalogue of games that. What if it run. runs Pokemon Go? Why would oh. that help anyone? Oh, I can through the screen on the side. <laughs> no, right. no one's going to want to go outside. No one's going to want to take this thing outside. But how would you catch a Pokemon if there's no touch screen? Uh, I just want to see people in America get mugged. Um, you know it's going to happen. <laughs> like they're going to be playing Pokemon Go. Nah, fuck it. That's not going to happen. Please do that, just for my So they steal it and they have no way of guarding it. <laughs> just gonna die because they don't have the dock. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've. Wait, that's a, that's a good question. What if you lose the dock? Are they gonna have replacements? Oh, that's. If you lose the dock? Yeah. The dock's the thing that's only your TV and not moving. If you lose that, you deserve to lose but, it. But say if you move house and you've forgotten and to take you lose your you. house. <laughs> <laughs> What about um, worst case scenario here? We're not I'd about. imagine they probably resell. <laughs> Robert comes in, only steals the dog. Yeah, so I'd I'm imagine s- you could probably buy a replacement. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be like 60 way. quid. Yeah. It'll be stupid price because you're stupid. Like, I think everyone's looking at it as a home console. What about, what about extra controllers? Have you tried to buy a charger that, for a Vita? No. no that's oh like 40 so quid. Yeah. Jesus Christ. For a fucking charger. I thought the memory cards are bad prices. Yeah. Well, I'll teach you not to lose your shit. Well, I never lost it. It wasn't big enough for the storage room. Um. So you were saying? We've got to stop segueing because we're running out of battery. Yeah, we are. That's true. All right. Um, but yeah, like we're uh, we're actually excited for a Nintendo console, and yeah, me personally, that's, long that's, that's exciting that I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I might pick it up after I've destroyed Dan's for at least twenty hours. Uh, I refuse to. That's when you're going to need to buy that dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Uh, I refuse to I buy a console that I can't name ten games I want for. Like I did yeah. buy a PS4 kind for. Uh, Dark Souls 3. Oh. But yeah. I also had The Witcher. But then there's other games where yeah, like, yeah, so this one, this, you know, the thing this has at the minute or doesn't have at the minute games. Like, three like, games is going to make or break this for a lot of people. Like, there's yeah, people yeah. that know they're going to buy it, there's not a lot of people that know they're going to buy it day one. Yeah, that's true. So here's hoping. So yeah, after the 13th, or the, I think it's the 12th it gets announced, but in England it's the 13th. Because of the time of it. After that day, we're either going to. It's even going to sit up there with like this massive list of games and features and stuff yeah. people are excited about. I think we're just having like a whole day of just streaming, like just yeah, um, gameplay. Yeah, so I know our time. I don't know exactly what time it starts properly. I know it's, I think it's like three thirty a.m. Yeah, and then there's a break, and then there's a separate one which is a Nintendo Treehouse event. Not Why yet. did Nintendo name their stuff retarded Treehouse, names? Treehouse. Yeah. Why? I don't like Treehouse. Thing Treehouse, Treehouse yeah. thing, like, why not just call it a press conference? Does Treehouse make sense at all, really? <laughs> Maybe it's just bad transfer. I don't even know what it's a reference to. Treehouse. I, I don't. I literally don't know what it's a reference to. Uh, well, yeah, I was going to say when you talk about streaming, I hope it's got like Twitch streaming built onto the Switch because I'd be surprised if it didn't. <coughs> that was exactly. cool. Because that's yeah. a modern thing. Um, but but Nintendo don't like the things being streamed. Oh yeah, the, copy, uh, they the copyright. Oh, the copyright was YouTube all videos and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that is true. Yeah, they're worse than E3. Uh, yeah. But so, well, that then means that they could. And I so guess if they did announce that Twitch thing was a thing, they could then say, yeah, and, and it's fine to Twitch our stuff now. Yeah. You may stream our games, but you better watch out. Fucking get you. <laughs> It'd be stupid of them to allow Twitch streaming and not allow you to publish it to YouTube after you're done. Because I mean, yes. that's counterproductive to anything that doesn't do. Because that's built, built into Twitch anyway. So. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if they'll announce that or not. I said, but like, I want a better online support for the Twitch. They yeah, don't for the, for the Twitch for the Switch. They'll they'll do a uh, they'll announce it when it's ready. Like literally, it, you don't go yeah, you Twitch as a thing and then might not, be announced not have it on release day. Like and seriously, I hope mm-hmm. when they have apps, they're not going to make you download them in boxes. Hopefully, it's actually megabytes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't care how many like cardboard boxes it takes to download. What about the like... internal storage? <laughs> well, what do you think? How much storage? is this thing going to store? Because obviously be... the games are all on their chips and stuff, but the stuff that you download, like, is this going to have like an SD card slot? I'm going to say change stuff out with five hundred GB. Because yeah. that's a pretty standard amount nowadays. Yeah, yeah. For a console, <clears> yeah. But this is like, I mean, is that big? The machine is, is a sorry. Right, your machine right. is like yeah. this, um, and it's, it's about as thin as an iPhone. We are on a podcast here, so that's like that's true. Yeah, I'll hold up my phone. <laughs> it is, it's probably like you know the size of an iPad Mini. I yeah, think it's probably about like all the size of a, a Vita. You can get like um, a tablet with maybe 128 gig. Something yeah, like yeah. That. it's it's going to be 500 gig standard. Like yeah. it can only go from that. I don't think it's going to be that big. I think it's going to be like in the tens of gigs. No. Well, I don't think the thing itself is going to have any storage. I think you're you, going to have to buy SD cards for it. You greatly underestimate, like, no, updates won't exist then. It's like when people... No, 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 you have the storage on the machine for updates and stuff. So you have a couple of people that store decide you cannot store... I don't think you'll be able to store games on the actual machine. Greatly underestimate I think the updates. Because uh, they had a problem with the Wii U when they had a system update. They yeah. had, like, no space remaining yeah. or something Because like there was a version of the Wii U that was, like... I think no. gig, yeah, yeah. and then the update that you needed is too big for it. Yeah, no, so I don't think the storage on the device itself is going to be just for updates and stuff like that, and you're going to have to buy SD cards to store anything else on it. I have a feeling they might not let SD cards. No, into piracy it. exists. Why yeah, not? exactly. That's, like, that's can you reason. not remember the PSP? Yeah, it fucking destroyed the console. True, but the Wii and Wii U use SD cards, and you can't please SD cards. Everything is chippable. Nothing's that's true. I, no, I still reckon SD cards are the way it's going to go, personally. But then they could do a, a PSP and say, or, or a Vita, sorry, and do, oh look, we, we made our own one, a yeah. proprietary storage device. Yeah, because I yeah. still think you get. I still think the the machine itself is not going to store anything. I think that's simply just for the system. Same as the the Vita, like the storage on the Vita is just. We shall for the agree system. to disagree, Daniel. We'll see. That sounds impossible. We'll see. Um, but yeah, before we have more endings than the movie Captain Phillips. Let's end it right here. I thought you were going to go for Lord of the Rings. That film, I've done it again. I'm so sorry, I carried on. <laughs> I've done my Lord of the Rings. So we're almost reckon? down the mountain, we're almost out of Mordor. So, oh. the Eagles are coming. Do you reckon there's going to be a <laughs> Nintendo Switch 2? Should we wait for this one to come out? <laughs> come so this one, this one has to be because it has to last. <laughs> because the Wii U didn't last a generation. <laughs> the Wii U came out just before PS4 and Xbox One got announced. Uh, yeah, and uh, and I think the Wii U is like five years old. No way. No way. Twenty twelve. Yeah, but do you know what year it is now? Twenty seventeen. That's five years ago. Well, it was in January, right? Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it's four or five years old. Just because it's just twenty seventeen doesn't mean the whole year has gone. It's four or five years old. <laughs> yeah. What then is the Wii U is four or five years old. Yeah. And. But that's I, a long time. Yeah. All right. If it's it is older than people think. Do I know my total right? player time on a Wii U? Yeah. Zero. <laughs> Yeah. I never picked up the console. It's I had no need to. I, I didn't buy my two was my like only game I want to play on that thing. I wish I, I played. I literally bought mine just for Christmas like, in second hand. Done. I, I bought it only for Zelda. <laughs> and then they announced this fucking thing. <laughs> Do you reckon uh, Metal Gear Survival will come to a Switch? I, no, I don't think Metal Gear Survival comes to anything. That's a real game, Dylan. I think that's going to be cancelled. I don't know what like you're talking about. Oh, let's go around. Fuck you, Microsoft. Did you guys ever hear of uh, Ninja Bread Man? Ninja Bread Man? <laughs> yeah. Is that like I am bread? <laughs> no, no. Just make that up. No, no. There, there's, there's been like a, there's, there's a Ninja Bread 2, Ninja Bread Man 2 as well. It's like a Ninja Gingerbread Man. It's a, it's a platformer on the Wii. Do you reckon it'll. it'll <laughs> I played that! I played that! It was, oh it was a sort of shit game. <laughs> so they need to look back at all that sort of shit and say, yeah, don't do that. That's when the uh, term, the, t- the term uh, shovelware came into it. <laughs> shovelware, mm. mm. shovelware. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. But all joking aside, I am excited for the movie. Like, I pre-ordered it. I don't know. I pre-ordered it like the day. It How much did you pre-order it for, Dad? The standing price of mine at the minute is nine hundred and ninety-nine pound ninety-nine. <laughs> Wait, so you paid the whole thousand pounds? It just for it, it just doesn't come out until nine nine. What, what yeah. if it actually comes out and says <laughs> there, it's a thousand pound and they take you? If they say it's a thousand pound, I cast them all instantly. Well, it's got a super not It's literally one hundred and ninety-nine. The same chip that held the small soldiers. It, 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 um, you put munition chips <laughs> in toys. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that one. Oh. I'm always that for ages. Stop! Bring me the head of Nick Nitro! <laughs> Classics. 
I think because we got to the point where we're talking about small soldiers, we should probably end this podcast about the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Join us next time. Cheers, guys. <laughs>